What's going on everybody? My name is Mario. This is a channel all about amusement park type stuff, but mostly coasters. And today we got the pleasure of taking a hard hat tour of Arctic Rescue, the newest roller coaster being added to SeaWorld San Diego. For those unfamiliar, Arctic Rescue will be a multi-launch straddle coaster manufactured by Intamin. And if those words don't quite make sense to you, this is a ride that is going to share a lot of similarities with Wavebreaker at SeaWorld San Antonio. But Arctic Rescue will have its own unique layout as well as some other noticeable differences. And that takes us to our tour. This building that we're inside of here actually used to be the old wild arctic ride, but instead it will now be used as arctic rescue station. So this is where you'll be lining up for whatever row you'll be riding in. You can see they already have the rows all set up to go. And directly underneath that plywood is the station track. So this is where you'll be getting on and off those snowmobile trains. And speaking of getting off of the ride, the exit for this attraction will actually be into the Wild Arctic Animal Exhibit. So not only are you going to get a thrilling coaster experience out of this ride, you're also gonna get a nice animal experience as well. And as you can see here, there's some secondary control panels already set up. Although we were told one of the things they still need to do before getting this ride fully up and running is some electrical testing. Now, as we move along, you can see the track coming out of the station, looping around while dipping in elevation, and that's where you're going to head into the ride's first launch. This ride does have three launches, which is really awesome, all three of which are drive tire launches. You can see too, it's on a bit of an incline, which is super cool because that is a bit different than Wavebreaker. And I already love Wavebreaker, so if this is anything like it, or let alone better, I think it's gonna be a very, very fun time. And now here's a look of the track coming back into the station. So this is where you will re-enter the station building and exit into that animal exhibit. Okay, now heading outside is where it starts to get exciting. This little track right here is where one of the trains will be stored. And by the way, I don't know if I mentioned this ride will operate with two trains, both of those trains holding 16 riders, two per row. And you can also see Emperor there in the background because these two coasters are next door neighbors. So it'll be super cool to see one of the coasters running when you are on the other. But now for the main section of the roller coaster, we have a beautifully tangled mess of 2,800 feet of track. And you can see there are all sorts of twists and turns. But one of the things that definitely surprised me as well as others was how exciting these transitions really seem to be. It looks like some of them happen pretty quickly. And then on top of that, it looks like some of the banking is quite steep. There's definitely more than just one or two places where the track banks more than 45 degrees, and that looks to deliver a delightfully thrilling experience. I'm also really enjoying this color scheme so far. We of course have that famous Sea World blue track, but I think it pairs very nicely with these gray supports. And here we get to another one of those tire drive launches. And an interesting fact about the launches actually is that they get progressively faster throughout the ride. So you won't hit your fastest launch until you hit the last one, which will be a really fun way of building up excitement and anticipation throughout the ride. And here's just a different look at some of those really fun transitions. This one in particular, starting you bank to the left, quickly unbanking, and then just as quickly banking you back to the left in what seems to be a pretty abrupt and exciting change. And I'm not entirely sure if it's coming through in the video, but this does seem to be in a relatively compact plot of land. So you will just be bouncing all over this area. And I think it's gonna be a really, really fun time. I definitely can't wait to ride this thing. And thankfully, we won't have to wait much longer because, as you can probably tell from all this footage, the track work for Arctic Rescue is finished. And we are told today that the ride is getting close to testing, so we love to hear that. There's just a few things left to do, like some electrical work, some landscaping and irrigation. But most excitingly of all, the finishing touches, some theming. And it's really exciting to know that we are getting close to this coaster opening. There is not an official opening date yet, but the ride is set to open spring of this year. 
But with all of that being said, I will go ahead and let SeaWorld San Diego Park President Jim Lake take over to share a little more about this coaster. Really appreciate you taking the time to be here today to um, see the progress that we've made on Arctic Rescue. It's the longest, fastest three launch straddle coaster ever to open on the West Coast. So we're really excited about that. It's our park's sixth roller coaster and it's really designed to be family friendly. It's got a 48 inch height requirement. We're thrilled. I think it's a perfect fit for what we offer and I'm really excited about it opening. Um, when, the, when designing this attraction, the intent was really to provide a fun and unique educational experience so our guests can learn more about um, the issues that the animals here are in the Arctic are dealing with um, due to climate change, global warming. And what I really love about the way this is set up, after you experience the ride, you get a chance to go through the exhibit and see these magnificent beluga whales, our ring seals, and our walruses, and really learn about those animals. So it's just a great tie-in, and it's gonna be a really, really great experience. The straddle-style snowmobile um, seats allow for an immersive ride experience um, with heights up to 30 feet and 2,800 feet of track. And so the guests will race through this chilly adventure um, through three accelerating launches at a speeds up to 40 miles per hour on this family-friendly experience. Um, the ride was manufactured by Intamin Worldwide and constructed by our friends at Clark Construction. Um, and it's the only triple launch straddle coaster on the West Coast. And we're thrilled to offer this unique ride experience here at SeaWorld San Diego. So our team, along with Clark Construction, has been very, very busy with over 35,000 craft hours to get where we are today. Um, I've got some pretty cool statistics here. They've removed over 15,000 cubic yards of dirt. So I think if you were here the last time you saw the big dirt pile, that was a tremendous effort. Um, they have added 2,900 cubic yards of concrete. They've built over 314 concrete pillars and you will soon see 400 tons of steel that was used to construct the ride. So a lot of great work and a lot of great progress. Yeah, so definitely a lot to be excited about. This looks like it's going to be a really fun coaster. And I wanna just say a huge thank you to SeaWorld for having us out for this event. And I definitely can't wait to take a ride on Arctic Rescue.